Hey, welcome to another video. It is a beautiful day. It's a little cloudy, but what that means is that I don't have the sun to deal with. I'm not, I don't have sun in my eyes. All right, so today what we're going to talk about is um, what to wear snowmobiling. To get ready for snowmobiling, the kind of gear that you need, you need a good pair of bibs and a good jacket. You want to make sure that the bibs and the jacket overlap. So because, and especially because you're going to be leaning over and you're going to be reaching forward. You see, this, this jacket is actually a size bigger than what I need. But when I reach forward, see what happens to my sleeve? So you want to make sure that, that uh, you have sleeves that are plenty long, which means that you buy basically a size larger than you think you're going to need. When you go and, you know, I would recommend that you go and try stuff out. And if you do that, you're gonna you're gonna find a, a size that you like, and uh, but don't be don't be fooled into buying that. Buy an extra size larger. You won't regret it. So I would stick with a few different name brands. Uh, FXR is a good one. Castle X is a good one. Climb is uh, you can never go wrong with Climb. It's a very good brand, but it's a little expensive. Any of the snowmobile manufacturers make good uh, good gear or they're associated with good gear so you know if you go to a dealership and they have uh, a brand um, like a uh, Skidoo brand or Polaris or um, Articat any of the branded stuff is going to be good so stick with the kind of those brands for your jacket and your bibs with the bibs you can get pants but you want to make sure that they overlap okay so whatever you get for pants Make sure they're plenty long enough. You see how long these are? They, my boot just barely peeks out. Again, you're you're bending your knees, so you're actually flexing the the pants quite a bit. So you want to get something that's bigger than what you think you're going to need. As far as boots go, again, I stick with a with a name brand for snowmobiling or for uh, winter activity. I don't do uh, hunting boots for uh, snowmobiling because you're going to be sitting here and your your boots are open to the air. So just like everything else, your boots have to be windproof, basically. And you want a boot that's going to stay warm, even even in something like this when you're when you're in the snow. Again, the same brands, FXR, Castle X. These happen to be Baffin boots, and I've been very happy with them. So the Baffin boots are good, too. Um, okay, the other thing is gloves, uh, like I was talking about. I I like these Castle X Epic gloves. This is kind of a almost like a budget glove. They are not very good quality gloves. They tend to wear out pretty quickly, but they're about perfect as far as warmth goes. You want a glove that's thinner, thinner on the palm, and a little bit thicker on the outside because you've got your handlebar warmers and thumb warmer that are going to keep your hands warm. And if you have too much insulation on the underside, then that those heating elements can't get through the insulation. And you end up, uh, ironically, you end up getting colder hands with warmer gloves. It's weird how that works. But you want something a little thinner. If you're going to be out snowmobiling in really cold weather, then you need a you need a glove or a mitten designed for that. Either go with a mitten. Uh, the other thing that I really want to try is a heated glove. So they make a glove, and um, Castle X, FXR, Climb, they all make a heated glove. They're excellent gloves. They're kind of expensive, but um, I want to try one of those. They have a rechargeable battery in the, in the gauntlet. Now, the, the other thing about wearing a snowmobile glove, this is not a regular glove. You see how there's all this extra down here. So you don't want a, like a ski glove where it's just a glove. You don't want a ski glove. You want a snowmobile glove. You want one with this gauntlet because what you want to be able to do is stick your hand in and overlap. You see it's got a drawstring here, so if I want to, I can draw this down and seal up my jacket. So you want a glove that's going to keep your hands warm, that's not going to allow things to come in here. The other thing you're going to need is a balaclava for your head. We talked about that, how there's really two things that the balaclava does. It keeps your um, your neck and exposed area warm. 
and it also keeps your helmet clean because you can clean the balaclava a lot easier than you can clean your helmet. The other thing then is you need a helmet, and there's three types of helmets. There's a motocross style helmet, a full face helmet, and a modular helmet. I typically wear a modular helmet, but uh, that that comes at a cost. It's a little more complex helmet because I've got a sun shield in here, so I've got two different shields that I'm working with all at the same time. I've got a plug-in for a heated shield, and um, I've got a different latching system for the front of the helmet. So there's different things there. And the other thing about it is it's heavier. So the modular helmet is heavier. Full face helmet is going to be your cheapest and also the simplest helmet. But for a beginner, I would recommend a modular because you don't get as claustrophobic. It's a little bit easier to put it on and off. And um, it just is a, to me, it's a more user friendly design as far as wearing it. But like I said, it is heavier. And you feel it. If you're out snowmobiling for several hours, and you get home, your neck is sore. Your neck is going to be sore. The motocross helmet, the advantage of that is it tends to be really light and, uh, and probably the lightest helmet. And you can use goggles. And the advantage of using goggles is that you can have a couple pairs of goggles. One can be in your little goggle warmer right there. And... Um, the other pair can be, you can be wearing those so that if they fog up, well, then you just take off the goggle, put it in your goggle warmer, take the ones that are in there, put them on your head. So you can, you can keep your, yourself clear and not have to worry about fogging up. Where a full face helmet or modular helmet, the shield is always, you have to always kind of fight that and be cognizant that it might fog up on you. So... So really, that's that's all there is to it, to stay warm, snowmobiling. And don't be afraid to uh, try things. Um, you know, sometimes you have to you have to buy them to and I I I, uh, I made a mistake. I bought some really expensive climb gloves. They're they have very thick insulation. The problem is that my hands actually are colder with the very thick insulation than um than with these so you know you got to try them and sometimes you spend money on stuff that you don't want to try so i want to thank you for coming along today and uh, i hope for beginners that gives you an idea of how to get set up gear wise and things that you should be looking for and i hope i see you on the trail